Hello everybody, my name is Yisana Swag, and welcome back to another story time video. And yes, if you read the title, yes, I have stole from Walmart for snacks. Now, before I continue with this video, full disclosure, full disclaimer, look, I did this back in mid-2018. I I can I do not condone anyone to actually do this. I do not want anyone to listen to this video, listen to my story, and actually try to copy and paste what I did because of the fact that stealing is wrong. I have my reasons, and if you are going to steal, please do not. Just fully purchase stuff that you really want to purchase, and if you cannot afford it, just wait for the next time for you to be able to afford it. I really want to go ahead and throw that out there because of the fact that if you are listening to this story and you think that, oh, I stole all this stuff back in 2018 and you're going to do it in the future after you listen to this video, no, man, I'm telling you, I do not condone anyone to steal. I literally do not want anyone to listen to this and actually be like, oh, well, he, he told me that I could steal. No, 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 no. I'm throwing that out there. Do not steal. Do not. I did this back in mid to late 2018 with my homie Square, and that is that's the name I'm gonna go give him because of the fact that I'm trying to keep his name anonymous. So I was going through a rough time because of the fact that my mom had a stroke at the, when I was 14 and a half to 15 and a half years old, and I found out that she had a stroke. Fast forward, it's 2018. I got a job and I graduated high school. And me and my homie Square, we we go into a Walmart. But before we go into Walmart, I'm over in my house just chilling, just playing a game, probably like Fortnite or some shit. And I'm just chilling at one night. And I hear that one of my homies was saying that they had bought some boots and they was going through the self-checkout and it didn't ring up. So they looking at it and they're like, oh, it didn't ring up. Oh, Okay, and then he just took the boots. So the boots wasn't rug up. So technically you stole them But regardless though, you did pay everything with full purchase though So I took that idea from one of my homies that was in the house So you understand how this is gonna go when I'm saying do not steal So I you probably aren't gonna understand the ingredients of how this is gonna go out and how chaotic this story gonna get so I took that idea and I was like, what's valuable and not valuable? Well, phones, they're valuable. Yu-Gi-Oh cards, they're valuable. Collectibles, of course they're mega valuable. <laughs> Games, I mean, they too, they very valuable, but they're too secure, so you ain't gonna steal anything from that. So then I just had the bright idea, <laughs> snacks. Let me go ahead and just cop one of my favorite two combos when I get paid. Oreo cookies and a half a gallon of milk. <laughs> so you know what I did? I rung them up and I had took them. So this is what I did and this is what I did myself before I got in Square. What I did is that I got like like $50 worth of snacks and then I'm at the self-checkout and then it go doop, 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 doop. Not ring up, not ring up, don't ring up, don't ring up. Dude, so I'm just basically not ringing up almost like 45% of the stuff that I'm purchasing and no one is noticing this. So that I had a, also another plan now because of the fact that I had a blueprint in my head. Once I am basically finessing the system and I'm not actually paying fully 60 to $50 worth of snacks, I'm actually paying like 30 something dollars, like $38 and some change. And then... There's two exits in Walmart. We all know this. There's like two exits. So while I'm at the self-checkout, and the self-checkout is always on the right side. Well, when you go inside, it's on the left side, but it's on the right side. It's this old guy that I recognize so much because of the fact that every time you purchase items, he doesn't check your receipt. So I had the blueprint in my head. So I'm like, let's do this. So I had the whole planned out in my head like this. I'm not going to ring up every single thing I ring up and then I'm going to go to the right side of the exit. Even though I'm coming in into the other other entrance, I'm going to go into the right entrance, leave out to the right exit, see homie, he ain't going to check my receipt to check 100% that I bought everything and then I'm going to leave out. And that's when I got my homie square 
we did this three times. Three times, man. And I felt like I was the biggest finesser, bro. I kid you not. When I say I was the biggest finesser, bro, I'm out here literally not paying 100% of all my purchases or any of my produce that I'm putting on a self-checkout. I'm literally just finessing the system. And I got over, oh, man, and one time, just one time, of course. And look, I'm going to take full responsibility of it because I did. And again, this happened back in mid-2018, uh, mid-2018, late 2018, around like September or August. And I kid you not, bro, I got caught. Me and Square got caught. We going into the right side of that exit like always. And then I see two dudes in black looking like freaking doppelganger Vin Diesel's coming out of nowhere. Like they're trying to make a WWE entrance. They're coming through the double doors, packed together, bro, looking like they got about to get the tag team championships. I'm like, oh, damn. I'm like, oh, man, damn. And then I turn around and I see another Vin Diesel doppelganger. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> we caught, bro. We caught. Bro, in the inside of me, my heart is racing. On the outside of me, I'm like, hey, uh, what seems to be the problem? I'm just trying to leave. I just bought all my stuff. And then they like, hey, sir, you too? Look, I wanted to speak to you to my office. Come along. I'm like, damn. All right, let's go. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep a straight face. Me and Square looking at each other like, are you kidding me? Like, we just got caught. Bro, I'm finna go to jail. I'm gone. It's over with. Oh, my God. Bro, we are, like, seriously, I can feel my man's heart racing. I can feel my blood just rushing. I'm finna start getting adrenaline and start running out of here. I'm finna start sprinting. And then, like, seriously, I don't know why, but I have, I have to talk about this. Even though I want to go further about this, for some reason, their camera, not their cameras, but their office is on the left side of the exit, the left exit, which is like the right entrance. So I guess that's there to prevent people from stealing, but that's kind of like a weird design flaw. <laughs> anyway, they take us into this room where it has a ton of TVs and a whole ton of surveillance cameras. Bro, I kid you not, they had straight up saw us. <laughs> like, on my whole left side, of my whole right side of my body, they fully zoom in. They see that the whole self-checkout thing ain't always blinking. I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> I'm finna go to jail. I was actually stealing. I was finessing the system, bro. I didn't want to pay full price. Oh, my God. I'm like, it's over with, bro. It's over with. I can't believe this, bro. And then while we in there, they asking us some questions. And I'm just actually trying to keep a stone cold face because, like, I'm going to start talking fast because my blood is rushing. And I'm about to get adrenaline and start running like octane out of here. Bro, I kid you not. I try to keep a straight face. They're like, so we seen you in these cameras. And we want to know the reasons why you have done this. And if you answer false, we will send you to jail. So I'm asking them straight full questions. I'm asking them just straight. 100%. I am not denying. I am not denying a single thing. Why should I deny? I ain't deny. This ain't it, bro. This ain't no deal. No, this ain't deal. No deal, bro. I'm not denying a single thing, bro. I'm actually telling them the truth. And I'm telling them like false, like possibly like 2% of like lies. I was saying like I was doing this because I didn't want to pay full price. I'm just going through something. I just wanted some snacks. Me and my homie was doing this a couple of times. I never do it again. And they're like, all right, cool. So we'll call your parents. I'm like, what? Bro, when they said that they was going to call my parents, I'm like, bro, I can't let my father and my stepmother know about this, bro. I'm already going through too much shit, bro. I'm telling you, do not call my father, bro. I'm telling you, man, do not call my father, bro. I was praying to God. Bro, and then the three dudes, they leave out the room. We stuck in the room, bro. I'm like, oh, no, bro. Bro, homie, my bro, Square was having anxiety. Bro, his anxiety was kicking in. Bro was actually terrified. I was trying to keep that man calm. 
Bro, I see that man shaking, shivering, eyeballs popping out of his skull. Bro, I'm trying to keep this man calm, cool, and collected. And then they like they come back in. And I, and they said that we cannot contact your parents. We cannot con contact any of your guardians. Uh, you have to be 18 years old, 18 years older, 18 years old or older in order to get out of here. And I'm 18. My homie Square is 17. I'm finna bail my homie out. Me and my homie finna get out of here, bro. We finna get out, bro. So then I'm trying to convince them, like, hey, look, I'm 18. I'm gonna show you my ID. We don't have to contact nobody. Look, I'm just not gonna. I'm just not gonna do this ever again. And I, I ain't gonna do it. I'm sorry about that. And they're like, sure, of course you're not gonna do this again because you cannot come back in here for a year. I was like, okay, cool. And then they just clapped my homie square. Not not like that. Bro, they said that, hey, we know that you've done something over at Sam's Club, which is somehow connected to Walmart. So now he's fully banned from Walmart and Sam's Club. And I'm like, wait, you stole at Sam's Club, which is connected to Walmart? And he like, yeah, yeah, I, I did. But that was like my first time. So I guess it's like two strikes, you're banned for life. But it, that doesn't make, I I never knew Walmart and Sam's Club was connected to each other. I never knew that. So then all the snacks that I didn't buy, bro, no, I take that back. All the snacks that I did buy versus all the snacks that I did and didn't buy was all in one bag. And I was like, and I was trying to convince them, like, hey, like, what if I actually go back there and actually pull, put, like, pay everything full price? I have the money for it. And they shaking their head, no, no, you can just leave. You can just leave. I'll let you go on a warning. They were talking about me. They, they said that you can go off on a warning and you can go by a day. You don't have to call your parents. You don't have to go to the police. Just leave. You have a warning. You can no longer come in here. I'm like, oh, my homie's. I just build up my homie square for like no like bro homie is banned well I get a whole warning I can't come into Walmart for a whole year because they don't expect me to steal again I mean obviously I would have done it again if I had the choice but I would never steal at Walmart ever again. I would never steal again because, first of all, I'm 22 years old in the making of this video, bro. I'm 22 years old, bro. Like, stealing is unworthy. It's unworth it, bro. Like, seriously, I've grown out of that, bro. And, like, it's crazy just thinking about it, too. Like, when you steal, you think about the goal. You don't think about the consequences. That's what you have to think of. You have to think about if you get caught one time then you know it's like you have a whole bad face now and then the whole situation kind of pissed me off because like me and square we walking out bro i'm walking him to, to his house bro and he and square just randomly says hey my father always said one thing you can steal as many times as you want but it takes one time to get caught i'm like Nigga, you say that shit now? You say that now? You give me a fucking life lesson now? And you could have fucking told me to stop? Bruh! Why? Square, you're banned from fucking Walmart! Wally World of all places, my nigga! You are st Why couldn't you just tell me that shit now? What? Why tag along with me to be the rebel? It didn't tell me this shit. And then the other side with me was like, "Yeah, yeah, you're right. It is true. Yeah, yeah." So I, I just, I just couldn't take it no more, bro. I just spark an L and just had to deal with it, bro. I don't go to Walmart as often as I used to. I mean, I go to like Dave's or something though. But yeah, that was the time that I stole from Walmart, and. <laughs> This is like a funny part too. If you go to Walmart in the self-checkout area, you'll find cameras that would literally be pointing directly to you. That's like 40 feet in the air, directly nose diving, pointing towards you to make sure that you're ringing up every single item. Bro, 
if you go to Day, Sam's Club, Save a Lot, whatever. No, I don't think Save a Lot. But if you go to any place, any location store, grocery store, whatever, that has a self checkout aisle, bro, they have camera angles to make sure that you're ringing up every single item. And I think I created that, but I don't want to take credit. I just think that more people <laughs> were stealing more stuff from these grocery stores. <laughs> and so it all rallied up together to where those cameras were to prevent people from stealing. Um, I never went to the Walmart that I was stealing ever again because of two reasons. Uh, I don't want my face to be shown anywhere in that place again. And there's other Walmarts that are better. <laughs> there's other Walmarts. Duh. Uh, so, yep, that's my story time. It seems kind of short. I have more stories that I will be making, though. But, yeah, that's a story I really want to throw out there. This one was kind of personal. Me and my homie Square, we don't talk about this story anymore. We only talked about it once, back around uh, 2018, of course. Me and Square, basically, you know, we cool and whatnot, but we just don't talk about, you know, crazy situations like this, though. I'm just glad that we survived out of it. So, yeah, that's the end of my story time video about how I <laughs> stole from Walmart and nobody knew about it but me and Square. And to make it this video, I think my father's going to kill me if I say this. <laughs> so, uh... Thank you everybody so much for listening to my story time video. I have other story time videos if you want to catch up on those. I have a whole folder, an entire playlist full of them. If you want to go ahead and check that out, check that out. Sub if you want. Support my channel if you want to. And yeah, thank you everybody so much for listening. And as always, the next video, peace out y'all.